Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, all of the photos in today's video are edited from my presets. The link is in the description. In 1887, the construction of the Eiffel Tower commenced, and it wasn't finished until March 1889, and it opened its doors on the 31st of March 1889. Now, until 1930, it was the tallest structure in the world, so I think it's very iconic when you think of France. Now, obviously, we think of baguettes and snails and cheese when we think of France, but I think, first of all, we think of the Eiffel Tower, Le Dame de Feu. And I would love to go and take some photos of Le Dame de Feu, which is also known as the Iron Woman, and we're gonna go and do that. So, pack your baguettes, grab your snails, let's go shoot. Okay, so just coming down this path, the shot that I'm thinking of getting in here is, you have this like wooden structure, I'm thinking maybe I can use that as a frame of the Eiffel Tower there, you can see how amazing this looks. Now settings, it's dark here, so, I went on 20th of a second f2.8 ISO 1000. I'm gonna get down into this little area down here to try and get the shot. And I don't know if it's gonna be wide enough. Maybe it's going to be wide enough. It's gonna be quite difficult to get the shot. Oh, maybe we'll have to use this one. Definitely can use this one. Let's have a look at this. Oh yeah, that'll do. So we'll use this one here. Kind of frame that up in there. Oh God, I'm falling over. And we'll go make sure it's focused on the Eiffel Tower itself. Like so. Flash. And we'll take that. Okay, moving on down here. Now, the objective of today is I would quite like to, that's a good one to get started with. I would quite like to be able to get a photo from somewhere quite high up. So. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in any buildings because I think that's very optimistic this time of night in rainy Paris. I'm in Paris and it's raining. Look at it. It's amazing. Can't wait to get some reflection shots later on. Um, there's a staircase up here, I think, that I can kind of go up and get a shot. I'm not entirely sure if I can. I'm hoping maybe at the top I can kind of look back on myself and get the Eiffel Tower with some buildings. Okay, so if you come up the stairs, you kind of get to this street here, which is a cool little street. If there were some reflections, maybe we can use it. I don't know if they're going to be big enough reflections. So I'm going to get a shot kind of here at 14. People going down the stairs. Come over to the right, maybe. Um, I kind of want to use these as a... Okay, maybe this will work. Okay, we'll move down a little bit more. I think it's this side. <laughs> okay, sick. So we're going to push down now, head over towards the Eiffel Tower a little bit more. Um, maybe try and find a reflection shot. But I've got the 14 to 24 on at the moment, and then I've got the 85 mil in my bag. Now, the objective of tonight is to take uh, a photo of Eiffel Tower in as many different situations, locations as I possibly can. It's kind of like a 360 loop around it. When you're here, you've got to you've got to appreciate the scale of it. It's insane. So we're going to get as many different shots of it as we can. Okay, so the next shot is going to be here. You're going to have like this leading line down towards oh, the Eiffel Tower. And in the background, you have the awesome tower in the background as well. It looks a little bit like St. Paul's actually, but it's oh, so sick. I love the gold color, such an amazing color. So I'm gonna have it kind of on the left-hand side of the frame. I think, yeah, that works good. I like that. We'll go with that. 20th of a second, F2.8, ISO 1. Thousand. Oh, what a good start to the POV. Got loads to do, loads to go. Maybe we can get one of these. Maybe we can do this. Oh, this is quite a cool shot. If I get down a little bit, focus on the Eiffel Tower, like so. Oh, nice. I like that. That's sick. Okay, moving on. 
Okay, so the next shot is going to be here. I'm going to try and do it on like a longer exposure. Um, so I just need to clean the front because it is rainy. I'm actually going to use the thing behind me as like a rest. There is this car in the way, which is a bit annoying. Hopefully they'll move in a minute. It looks like the car's not going anywhere because they're just doing TikToks in the car, which is great. So I'm just going to wait for maybe these cars to come through now and then get a shot here. 0.6 of the second, F3.5, ISO 125. Wait for these cars. Okay, I'm happy with that. We're going to push up this way a little bit more just to see what we can get. I am going to swap onto the 85 mil in a bit when we get a little bit further away. But for now, oh, what a shot. Now, there is a shot over there that I want to go and get. There's a reflection shot where you can get like the Eiffel Tower, you know, in a reflection. But I'm going to go and get that in a moment. Okay, from the 85 mil on 1.4 from Sam Yang. I'm going to get a shot here. I think I can maybe get a decent shot here. Maybe someone crossing the road in a minute or something. Because there's kind of like a leading line straight down the middle. Yeah, we can definitely get a shot here. Um, I'm gonna have the settings at a hundred of a second. We'll push the ISO to a thousand and we'll change the uh, shutter to 250 of a second. Someone going through the frame now. Sick. Some more people. Am I gonna get them? Did I get that cyclist? I think I might have. Okay, so I'm gonna walk down the center of the road and see if I can get, I don't know, maybe someone crossing the road. We'll see. I think maybe I want the wide angle on now. <laughs> I've now got here and I want to put the wide angle because this is sick. Okay, I've thrown the wide on here and I'm coming to the center of the road to get this shot. Oh, it's going to look sick. Quick before no cars come. I don't want any cars. mil. Oh, that looks insane. Oh, <laughs> oh, it looks amazing. Okay, I've come into the center now at 14. I'm going to put it on to maybe third of a second to try and get some long exposure. You know, some of those light trails from the car. Going to hold it nice and steady, nice and symmetrical little shot. Like so. I'm going to wait for a car or something to go through the frame. I've got it at 14 mil. I'm going to get down to use this leading line towards Eiffel Tower. I'm going to tap on Eiffel Tower to get the focus. Okay, we're going to move on. I'm going to come over to the side over here to see if I think I can get a reflection over here because the other side is a bit too windy, but this side I think is going to be a little bit better. So 14 mil, and we'll probably go about here. Can't really see what I'm doing, but thankfully I got the a 74 so I can flip it around and I can see exactly what I want to see. Oh, honestly, this is insane. Oh, it looks amazing. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to go the other side of the Eiffel Tower now and shoot back towards it. Or maybe over that way, or maybe over that way. Who knows? Let's go find a different angle to this amazing building. Okay, so I've come over to the famous underpass, which was also in the film Inception, to get a shot here because well, I mean, look at it. It's a sick location. So we're going to get a shot here. Nice and simple. Nice symmetrical shot. Focusing straight down the middle. Um, we can change the settings up slightly. We can put it to 640th of a second. Uh, 40th, 40th of a second. ISO 640, FT.8. And we'll just take that shot there. Maybe we'll put it 24 mil. Do walk it through the frame. Sick. Definitely adds to it. Like I said in yesterday's video, try and add subjects to your frames because it just helps tell the story that you're trying to portray. Okay, so I've thrown the 85 mil on. We're going to put it at 1.4 and we're going to get someone walking in front of the Eiffel Tower, hopefully. 
properly. Okay, let's change the settings up. We're gonna change it to eight of a second, ISO 640. It's okay. Okay, sweet. We're gonna push on to the next location because it is getting chilly. Okay, so just walking down to the next location, um, and I spotted this little cool shot. I've got the 14 to 24 on, so I think at 24 mil, maybe if I can get the camera in here, like so. Change the settings up a little bit. Change it down to, let's say, let's go eighth of a second. Focus on Eiffel Tower itself. Now, I actually think it'd be a cool shot if I kind of include this as a frame. So maybe like this. Yeah, sick, I think that'll do. Okay, so I stopped here because this shot looks really sick. So 24, I'm thinking. Move to the right hand side. Let's push past this frame because this uh, sign, because this sign I don't really like. And maybe if we come over to the left hand side. Yeah, this is nice. What is going on with this white balance? Okay, there's a light here. I don't want the light directly in my frame. Okay, I'm gonna come over to the side here. Bam, bam. Change the settings slightly to uh, 30 per second. ISO 1000. Shit. What an amazing, honestly, it's just crazy. Oh, what a great shot. Like literally, there's so many different like uh, avenues or streets that you can go down where you just, you get greeted with this crazy shot, which is insane. Look at it. Okay, so the next location is here. It's on Rude, Rue de Lunavit. Oh God, I can't pronounce it, but it's a sick street. Look at it, what a shot. So we're gonna come smack bang in the middle, focus on the Eiffel Tower. And I'm gonna come slightly over to the right, because I think this kind of like uh, curb is probably a really good leading line. So we'll go with that, maybe angle it slightly like that, oh, that's better, that's a better shot. There we go. 30 of a second. Uh, we can change that down, actually. We can change that a little bit. 30 of a second, F2.8, I say 1,000. Oh, so sick. And just because, like, the, the ground is a little bit wet, so it just adds just a little bit extra to the shot. Okay, so I'm heading to the next location. Now, one of the quickest ways to get around Paris is on one of these scooters. Uh, you can either use Lime or Dot. You, it's just an app on the App Store, both Android and on iPhone. You just scan the QR code, pay with Apple Pay or Samsung Pay or Google Pay or anything like that. And then you're on your way to getting to the destination that you want to get to quickly. Okay, so I've just scooted to the next spot, which is a pretty cool reflection shot of Eiffel Tower. And... Uh, I think I might be meeting Mike here as well. I think he's going to go and get his car. I'm not sure where he is, but it should be. Oh, wow, look at that. That's insane. I'm going to run over here quickly. Oh, wow. This is a water shot. It's fucking actually insane. Look at that. <laughs> okay, right, change the settings quickly. I'm going to put it down on the ground to get a nice stable shot. So putting it down here to get a nice stable shot. Tap to focus. Apparently Mike's is oh <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh sick. Hey dude, you're right. Hi bro. Good yeah. to see you. Yeah, good. How are you bro? <laughs> fucking cold. Yeah. <laughs> After meeting up with Mike, we uh, I took a couple of photos of the car. Here's my favourite one on the screen. It was uh, <laughs> it was such an amazing night. The the rain 
the Eiffel Tower, the Dame de Fer, the everything. It was just, it was amazing. I wish I had more time in Paris and I'm gonna go back. So I've been looking at a day trip, maybe in March time, just to go over there in the morning, shoot all day and then come back because it's only a two hour train journey from London. We're gonna jump into the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. Now, if you're not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you get notified every time I do upload. The hashtag is up to 305,000 posts. I'm trying to get it to 500,000 by the middle of this year. Also, coming soon is the Discord server. I've been working very hard over the last couple of days, which is why I haven't been uploading. That will be coming soon. I'm trying to put a nice video together to try and explain a little bit about it, what's the purpose, etc., etc. but we'll get to that soon. We're gonna jump into the hashtag, go to the most recent, it's gonna a little refresh, and we're gonna choose some nice city shots. This one here at the Eiffel Tower, I have to choose it because, well, it's the Eiffel Tower. If you've never been to France, I really do recommend you go. It's, it's really beautiful and there's so many things to do. Going down a little bit more, nice cool street shot here. Um, if that person was like slightly closer to the camera, it would kind of like separate them from that like alleyway, but it's a great shot nonetheless. Going down a little bit more, we've got, uh, let's go with this one. What a great shot of Big Ben. You've got two people in the in the foreground. Uh, you're on Trafalgar Square, which is a great, oh, this is a great set. You've used frames, this one here as well, like the framing, love it all. Great shot. Uh, this first one, I love it because of like the, the two people uh, giving that separation, giving the scale, and then also kind of using them as like a bit of depth, and I like that. Going down, that one here, that one here, that one there, that one, this one, 32. Number 32, don't know what street, but 32. Great shot, the woman's obviously looking at some sort of, there's so much going on in this, look at the dude, he's like, oh my god, this is this is the hardest order I've ever had to do. Is, he, is, this a, is it a restaurant? I think it might be a restaurant, and he's like on his laptop or something, and he's like, ah, and she's like, wait, where's the entrance? <laughs> it's a great shot, I really love it. Uh, this one here, lovely, great uh, street shot. I like that the hand is in focus and not the faces. I really do like that. Uh, colors on that are really nice as well. Uh, this street shot here, love the lighting. The whole vibe on this is really nice. It's got this like dreamy vibe and I really do. I love that dreamy, I don't know if you've noticed, but I do like that dreamy vibe. Uh, going down a little bit more, let's, let's do three or four more. We'll go with this one here with the sunlight in the background. Great shot, love that hour. Look at look at these shots. Absolutely love that golden hour as well. Like you can't you can't really go wrong shooting in in this weather and at that sun at that weather. I can't talk at that time of day. Got there in the end. If you're in the UK, you're aware of the the last few days. It's been horrendous. I haven't even been out. This is the first time my camera's been out since I've been back to uh, back to London. We'll do two more. Let's go with this one here. Lovely, great shot. Love the, uh, again, love the like kind of uh, dreamy vibe. Oh, it's so nice. Was it actually foggy or was that just done in post-production? I'd like to know. And we'll finish on uh, this one here. Again, it's got that slight kind of like dehazed kind of vibe to it. Like see on here, there's like, I don't know. It's, it's nice and dreamy. It's a great shot, lovely street shot and overall, I'm super inspired. Now, if you do wanna get featured on this channel, you can use the hashtag Optical Wonder um, and I'll see them and inspire me to go out and shoot. I mean, I'm probably not inspired right now to go out and shoot because it's it's not very great outside. Now, it wouldn't be so bad if it was just the rain, but it's the wind and every it's just horrible in the UK right now. Um, but coming soon, I have some, some big announcements. Uh, firstly, the Discord's coming out. Then I've got some content that I'm shooting this week of the Tesla, so if you're interested, subscribe. Um, I'm gonna be shooting that all this week, so uh, I'll be doing daily vlogs. Um, and then when the server is completed and finished, I will be uploading it. I might ask some of you to come out, come over into the Discord and check it out, uh, have a little run through, see what you feel um, over the next couple of days. It's nearly there. I'm just doing a couple of tweaks, making sure the spelling's done and all the bots are in there and everything's all sorted. But we'll get to that. In a couple of months time, maybe a month or so, I've got a big announcement coming. Um, yeah, it, it's quite big. But also in London, I will be doing a meetup fairly soon within the next month. So all of that, log it in your diaries. There's lots coming. I've also got a shoot for Bentley in March as well. Um, there's so much going on over the next month. 
I can't wait to show you all and I'm really excited and I wish I could tell you right now, but there's something amazing coming. With all that being said, create more stress less, get out there, go shoot. I enjoyed shooting Le Dame de Fer, and if you live in Paris, go do it.